Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here. Welcome to episode 42 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to talk about two machines, the air compressor and the pneumatic engine. These are the two machines that you can use to transfer, well, to, to, to transform power from shaft power into buildcraft mine, uh, energy, Minecraft jewels, or uh, vice versa, from Minecraft jewels into shaft power. So the first machine uh, that we'll discuss is the air compressor. It's a very simple operation. Uh, if you know about buildcraft, you know that this is, a, this is the type of pattern you use for their engines, and this is what their engines tend to look like. So this is the machine that transfers shaft power into buildcraft uh, energy. So it's crafted with a piston, two compressors, a block of glass, and three HSLA steel ingots. And that gives you this thingy here, the air compressor. So uh, it looks pretty cool. It's made out of steel, obviously, but it looks like a Buildcraft engine. It connects to Buildcraft wooden kinesis pipes. I'll be honest, I haven't used Buildcraft uh, since they changed these from conductive pipes to kinesis pipes. and uh, It's been a long time since I touched Buildcraft. Anyway. So uh, the air compressor works quite simply. There's no GUI on it. It doesn't require anything but power. You give it power and it produces uh, Minecraft jewels. That's pretty much all there is to that machine. If we go into the handbook, it shows up in the process. I'm not really sure why it shows up in this section when the other ones don't. Anyway, this thing can explode, so don't let it go over a thousand uh, kPa, kilopascals. That is a measure of the amount of air pressure in this machine. You can see right now it's at 301. I'm currently giving it the output of a uh, gas engine. You know, and we can always give it more than that. Like uh, two, we can double that. 256, and you get the output of. Yeah, there we go. And now we've got the output of a um, AC electric engine going on. Okay. So we got this little blue line. It's transferring power uh, into uh, this pneumatic engine over here, which we'll talk about now, the pneumatic engine. So the pneumatic engine is crafted with three base panels, a shaft unit, an impeller, two liquid pipes, and a steel ingot. Very, very not, not, not very expensive. And uh, it's, it's used, obviously, to turn uh, build curve energy into shaft power. So it's a lot like the magnetostatic engine when we talked about it. And uh, I forgot to mention the magnetostatic engine when I when I did the, the patch update, but it requires lubricant now as well. So I go into this GUI. You currently see it's all the same stuff. Uh, the torque value is is set. Uh, the speed value can be set up or can be set down. Down to uh, one, zero or um, currently up to 256 for a two kilowatt output, which is uh, half the output of a uh, windmill. It's got a 36,000 Minecraft Joules storage for energy and a 24,000 millibucket storage for lubricant. If we look at this, it, this just tells us the stuff that uh, we already know. Connective pipe input the back. I've got the lubricant going in through the bottom. Uh, it's, it's very simple. It's got its little sound. Yeah, I'm not sure why this isn't making a sound. I mean, it's, it's, it well, should, but I don't hear it. I don't know. Weird. So, uh, yeah, um, as we can see, this doesn't put out very much power right now. That's because all of these engines now use the tier system that we talked about with the magnetostatic engine. Uh, all of these things are converters. They convert from other mods, power supplies, into uh, shaft power, and so you need to use these converter upgrades. So if I whack this with a tier 1 upgrade, you can see that I, it, now the torque's at 32. So if I wanted to go back down to the 2 kilowatts, I can now drop it down to speed. But it can now go all the way up to 16 kilowatts, at which point uh, it consumes, uh, it, what it does, it consumes more power, but it also outputs uh, more shaft power. So it's outputting 16 kilowatts right now, uh, which is the output of a uh, steam engine. That's pretty nice. Slap it with a tier 2 upgrade. And remember, the tier 2 upgrade is the one that needs to be magnetized to work. Slap it on there. Pump up the power to uh, 131 kilowatts. That's the output of a uh, AC electric uh, engine, I believe. 
better check that so I don't sound like a fool. I guess it is. It's not the same torque and speed uh, values as the AC electric, uh, but it's the same overall power level. It's currently consuming 3 megajoules per tick, so the internal megajoules... Um, I always called it my megajoules, it's Minecraft joules. Uh, the the uh, internal storage is currently going down because uh, this uh, air compressor is not giving it uh, enough power. So uh, we'll go ahead and um, give it the next level. Uh, uh, 256 at 1024. So we're currently giving this air compressor the output of a performance engine. And this is going back up again. Now if we go in here and we slap it with a tier 3 upgrade, that's when things really start to pick up. That's when we can have it produce a megawatt. But now you'll notice it's consuming 19 Minecraft joules per tick. And this is not producing enough. I tried using a uh, infinite MJ uh, source from um, the additional buildcraft object thingies. Let's turn this off. But uh, the power wouldn't go into the pneumatic engine. Like it, it wouldn't accept it, so I couldn't use that, which was a little bit odd. I expected it to work. All right, so let's go ahead and just give this some, you know, more power. We'll give it uh, 16384 at 32. It won't explode. We'll have to keep an eye on this so it doesn't go up to uh, 1,000 and blow up. I don't actually know how much power you have to put into this to blow it up. I've never blown it up. As you can see, the power requirement for outputting this is quite hefty, 19 um, Minecraft joules per tick, which isn't all that bad, really. I don't know. I actually forget how much these uh, combustion engines put out. It doesn't tell me the maximum. But anyway, if you use Buildcraft, you'll know. I don't use Buildcraft anymore. We'll slap it with tier 4, and then we'll slap it with tier 5, just so we can see what the maximum possible output of this thing is. Which we can't see when that's levers off. 8192 at 8192. So 67 megawatts, which is the uh, power output of a gas turbine. So that's the most you can get out of a uh, pneumatic engine. Yeah. That's pretty much it for these two. Um, there is another one uh, that converts from here, and it is the yeah, the fuel-powered engine. I wasn't going to talk about this, but this hasn't taken very long, so we'll talk about the fuel-powered engine. The uh, fuel-powered engine from Rotary Craft is crafted with an impeller, two base panels, a shaft core, an 8x gear unit, 2x gear unit, two cylinders, and a golden ingot. And the fuel-powered engine does exactly what you think it does. Got here. Oh. There is no GUI. Let's go ahead and grab some buckets. If I remember correctly, it requires a bucket. Bucket of Buildcraft fuel. Bucket of loot. Ah, I broke. Darn it. What am I doing? I always screw everything up. That was odd. Suddenly ice. Yeah, I noticed that happened to me once before. Suddenly ice. I, I have no idea what causes that. Water. Fuel. Lube. Oof, that's quite a sound. Two hundred and sixty-two kilowatts, which is the output of. Basically, it's a performance engine that runs on Buildcraft fuel. I like this engine; it looks cool. I like the uh, smoke. So these are the uh, machines that you can use to transfer power between uh, Buildcraft and uh, Rotarycraft. Honestly, if I wanted to use Buildcraft energy and then I wanted to convert it into shaft power, I would probably just build one of these fuel-powered things and just burn my fuel straight up. Because <sighs> uh, that's probably what I'd do. Because otherwise, you have to produce the power 
on the buildcraft side, pipe it into this pneumatic engine. So, whatever. Oh, our coolant is uh, empty, which wouldn't be a good thing. So, yeah. That's, I like this thing. But, uh, anyway. Those are the uh, machines to transfer your uh, transform your shaft power into buildcraft energy and transfer uh, form your uh, buildcraft energy back into shaft power. Now, as a nice grand finale, we will put a ridiculous amount of ah, and see how big the air compressor explosion is. So I'd say that's comparable to a couple blocks of TNT. So don't let it go off. <laughs> Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, next video uh, will be up soon. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.